Talking about Christmas tree. <laughs> In August. You're my one <laughs> You could have a baby from now up till our wedding. I've got a sneaky top on today and I can't say why. Oh my God. I'm waiting for this. I'm waiting three years for this. Good morning everybody. Happy new vlog. What are you doing? <laughs> Debbie, that's dangerous. What are you making? Tell us. I feel so tired. I feel like I always say that. What? I was just, well, I feel so, I woke up feeling so sleepy. What are you making? I'm making, I'm making some blondie cupcakes. Oh, oh yeah, we've got Ice Age on this morning on Disney Plus. Do you know what, I'm starting to cozy up the house a little bit, like I did last year, or in the winter time, when I always had Disney Plus on and just like, I don't know, I'm starting, to, I'm starting to feel a bit cozy. I actually was just on my, on the computer, having a little look at something. Now's not going to be impressed if he hears what I say right now. Well, I'm going to be able to sit down. What? I was having a little peek at autumn decor. <laughs> I did a little head, head shake then. Basically. What is it, sorry? Autumn decor? Yeah, hun. So, look at these. How cute are these? So, I was looking on next. I mean, it's August, so there's not much option yet, but <laughs> I actually saw these a few weeks ago on next, and it's a set of four different doormats for each season. How cute is that? Next is like my favorite shop for autumn stuff, but they haven't really got much yet. But then I was having a look on here, which is called Lights for Fun. I really like this little neon light that is really cute love these two little felt pumpkin garland i'm not a big fan of these kind of fake looking plastic pumpkins personally but there are actually some really nice things on here i've never shopped on here before or possibly i have for some fairy lights because it is called lights for fun but i didn't actually realize until now that they do nice little bits of cozy decor so oh they're cute aren't they and that's cute, very cute. I was also looking on Hobbycraft as well, but it wasn't quite as impressive. We've got a little blue velvet pumpkin there, which I'm not too sure about. Oh, look at them, that's like what we put on our tree last year. Niall, what's our tree, what's our tree, um, what's the word? What's our tree vibe this year, Niall? Tree? Yeah, what, what, colour, what colour scheme, what scheme are we going? Last year we did. What do you think I mean? Talking about Christmas tree in <laughs> August. Is that what you're doing? I thought no, that I just... what you're doing. I was hoping. I hope. I hope that's not what she's doing. No, but I just saw them and they reminded me of our tree. Remember we had the dried oranges. Do you remember? Yeah, yeah. They were cute. Let's do autumn first, eh? Oh. Are you ready for autumn? <laughs> no, I'm definitely not ready for <laughs> Anyway, yeah, I am starting to feel a little bit cosy. I feel like I'm starting to get the house cosy. It's still August, I know, but I just want to start being cosy at home. I really want to make some apple crumble with the apples from our trees outside because I did that two years ago when we first moved into this house and it was just a memory that I'll remember forever. <laughs> and I kind of want to redo that and possibly with my mum. So I think soon we'll do that because I think the apples are almost ready. But that's a really, that's a really all terminal thing to do now, isn't it? What? Make apple crumble with our apples from our trees. Yeah, I'm up for that. That'd be good. Yeah. Anyway, I was actually also writing some new quotes and some new little quotes and sayings for Beyond. So basically, in my app Beyond, we have these pop-up notifications that come through to your phone, just like a text would. So like, say you're on your phone and then a text came up, but we have that for little quotes from Beyond, just to kind of like put a little bit of happiness into your day. So I'm writing some new ones for that. Let me, I'll read you a few, although I feel like they sound funny when I say them out loud, but they, they look cute on like text. <laughs> so we've got, take care of you today, whatever makes you smile, 
do that. <laughs> We've got, if you're feeling down or strange, I'm sending you so much love. Remember how great the endorphins feel after your workout. That's today's motivation. Make today happy. Create healthy habits, not restrictions. <laughs> I'm gonna stop there, but yeah, basically I was half looking at autumn, half writing for beyond. I need to have some breakfast as well. But I'm being a little bit cheeky this morning. I just feel like some cocoa pops. This is me trying to start getting cozy, you know? Well, actually, to be fair, it's because I can't be bothered to make oats today because I'm, I'm just feeling so tired. Are you feeling tired, Niall? Or is it no, just I'm me? I'm feeling better. Are you? Um, good for you, hon. I'm feeling great. Good for you, huh? Tough of the world. Tough of the world. Um, yeah, basically, I just... Oh, <laughs> I just feel like having cocoa pops this morning, basically. I just feel so tired. You know when you wake up some mornings and you're just like, snooze, 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 snooze. <laughs> I actually had quite a good sleep. I just feel really sleepy, if you know what I mean? I think actually, do you know why I think it is? Because we had a lovely weekend, but it was a long, oh, 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 Sainsbury's is at the door. What the heck, he's early. Sainsbury's man, I can't be vlogging in front of him. <laughs> Can you go and answer? What's going on? I might be able to, oh, why is he here? It's not our slot yet. It's our food, our food shop. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, we had a lovely, let me get some milk in my Cocoa Pops so I can eat these while I, do you know what? Cocoa Pops are one of the only cereals which I don't mind when it goes a bit, well not soggy, but like when the milk disintegrates. Is it? Is he got a food shop? Yeah. He's really. I know. Well, it's better than coming at all, isn't it? Like the day. No, it is good. It's good when they're early, but they're never usually early. They're usually at the last second of the stop. Um, but yeah, cocoa pops is like the only cereal which I don't mind when the milk sort of gets really in there. You like a soggy cocoa pop? Yeah, I do quite like a soggy, soggy cocoa pop because. Oh, here we go. <laughs> You just can't help it when I'm in there. Because I, I just love that it makes um, basically a milkshake, doesn't it, the milk? Anyway, yeah, as I was saying, we had a lovely weekend because it was my dad's wedding. So I'm feeling quite tired from that. I might actually slot in a little video of me and my dad dancing. Niall caught it on camera and he showed me in the morning and it was just so cute to see. It's just so cute to see, it sounded really weird saying that. But it was just a nice little moment that um, I'm glad Niall caught. So I'm going to pop that on screen, but we had a lovely time for his wedding. We're feeling tired now, aren't we, Bluebee? You hung out with Granny, she looked babysat you all weekend and so did Carl. The food shop's just arrived though, so maybe I'll show you some of that. You need to go? Yeah. Oh, can you not bring in the Sainsbury's? I've got a doctor's appointment. <laughs> what? <laughs> what did you say? That's so weird. I've got a doctor's appointment. Yeah, 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 because I'm really sick. So. Niall's got a doctor's appointment because he's got a blocked ear and he has done for the past two weeks. And a really bad cough. Go back. He doesn't have COVID though, he's checked. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like something's like, I think you've got COVID, he doesn't have no, COVID. It's awful having a cough in this day and age. It is, it is. It's, it's bad being ill in this day and age in general because... I don't want to leave the house. I know, because everyone just thinks you've got COVID everywhere you go, but he doesn't. Food shop is here. I don't really think I've got that much. Me at the bakery. What are you spreading? Le boulangerie. Food shop is out. I don't think there's really much interesting to show. So actually, this is something which we ordered because me and Nala are going to make a new dish for beyond which is like a fettuccine dish basically but i think we might do that in a video this week maybe not this one but my other video i'm thinking of filming and we do also have this which is a little bit interesting for our food shop because basically we are going to make some pizzas with niles pizza oven i think in this video at some point do you two want to go to the bakery do you want to go get a mocha <laughs> do you want to go to the bakery Oh, the little head tilts. Right, give me five minutes and we're going to go meet Dad. Yeah? Okay. Right, just before we do go to the bakery on a Tuesday, which is a very rare thing. <laughs> we only usually go on the weekend, but we didn't go this weekend because obviously we're away. Just before we go, though, I am going to pop on a little bit of tan 
I am popping this tan on as well because we are going out tonight to a very exciting press event. Probably the most exciting press event I could have ever been invited to. So we have been invited to Disney Plus's press event, um, which is so exciting because I'm the biggest Disney fan. <laughs> Basically, I just want to pop a little bit of tan on to get myself ready for it. My skin's having a little bit of a party at the moment as well. I don't know what's happened. You know when you get those tiny little kind of under bumpy blackheads, but they're not really spots. I tried to get rid of them all. And look what I've done. <laughs> don't pop your spots. Since we got back from Ibiza about two months ago, I've been trying to kind of keep up my natural tan I got there and I've been using this Bondi Sands Pure range because this range I find is like the most kind of natural and I just, I'm obsessed with this range. I'll tell you why in a second, but first I'm actually gonna put on the Pure Sleep Mask. So this section in the video is in partnership with Bondi Sands because I am an ambassador. I'm running low battery. Hang on a second, I'm gonna have to change my battery. <laughs> okay, battery has changed. So as I was saying, I am gonna pop some on my face first, and I'm actually gonna be using this Pure Sleep Mask. I actually put this on every night at the moment before bed. I am running a little bit low. I didn't put it on last night though, so I'm gonna put it on now, but this is the Pure Sleep Mask. Guys, this product is insane. It doesn't kind of like affect your skin or clog up your pores or anything. And the great thing about all of the Pure range at Bondi Sands, and I, I did speak to you about this a while ago, but the great thing about the Pure range is it is completely clear. So there's no color, you're not gonna like transfer. That's why I can put it on now and like wear my clothes throughout the day, go to the gym and it won't just like leak everywhere. There's just no color to it. It is completely clear and it doesn't smell, which is the thing I absolutely love about the Pure Orange because most fake tan does smell a little bit funny. It smells like biscuits, <laughs> but this one doesn't. So it's kind of just like, it literally looks like a moisturizer. That's the other reason I love it because it's so lightweight. All of the Pure Range is super, super hydrating as well. Um, and it's also got vitamin C in it, which gives you kind of like a radiance. <laughs> I know we talk about radiance a lot, but yeah, it gives you that kind of glowiness because of the vitamin C in it, I think. Um, so I'm just gonna pop this on my face. The other thing to say though with this is avoid your eyebrows, otherwise you might get some products stuck in your eyebrows and make sure you wash your hands afterwards with the sleep mask because otherwise you might get it on your hands as well. And when I first used it ages ago, that happened to me. But if you wash your, fa your, your fans, <laughs> if you wash your hands, you'll be fine. Right, I'm gonna pop some of this on. I actually ran out of my bottle on the weekend because I used it the night before the wedding as well. But basically since, as I was saying, since we've got back from Ibiza, I've just, I've had quite like a natural tan anyway, but I also have kind of been topping it up with this because this is just a really nice kind of natural finish. Obviously just ideal if you don't want to get it on your sheets or your clothes. You can put, pop it on before bed as well. Like, you know, most tans, that's kind of what you do is put it on before bed and then wake up eight hours later or whatever and wash it off. But because this one doesn't have a guide color, like today, you'll see it won't go all over my clothes all day because it's clear. So, hang on a sec. Let me just grab. Oh, actually, I'm naked on top. I need to find a bra. Hang on. The colour that I use of this is the darker colour. They do also have another shade, which is their light. The thing I love about Bondi Sands, right, guys, which is why I started using it so long ago and why I was so excited when they asked me to be an ambassador, is it doesn't give you that kind of like. I don't want to like reveal brands that I use when I was younger, but I used to use other brands when I was younger at like, you know, being a teenager and they just made me look really orange, but the Bondi Sands colours are just so lovely. They're kind of like golden. So hang on a minute. I'm just going to show you the the formula on my leg. So if you look, it's this clear foam, which is so cool. It literally looks like bubbles from a bubble bath. <laughs> I have shown you this before, I know, but I've got back into using it a lot recently and I love it so much. I'm just gonna pop a layer of this all over the bod and then I will wash it off before we go to the event tonight. So between six to eight hours, you usually leave it. If you do want kind of like a darker look as well, 
Bondi sands do kind of suggest after you've applied it, after 30 minutes to apply another layer and it'll give you an even kind of darker look if you want one. Anyway, I'm gonna finish this because I need to get my shorts off and get naked <laughs> and then I need to rush out, but BRB. Right, we're about to leave and go to the bakery to meet Niall. Tan is all applied, so I've popped it all over my body. The other thing to note with this tan, which is so amazing, is it isn't sticky. So you can basically just put clothes on straight away afterwards because it obviously doesn't have the colour issue but it doesn't have the stickiness issue and it is so hydrated so your skin doesn't feel like tight and sticky because that is literally the worst thing about tanning routines isn't it? I will link the products in the description box but I will also show you later before we go when it's developed a bit more because yeah it will kind of develop through the day on my face and my body but anyway we're gonna go to the bakery and meet Niall these two are very excited you love a morning walk don't you two go on and get it in we're gonna grab a fresh bread thing aren't we which one we having so we're going for the seeded sourdough Lovely jubbly. And the sausage roll, yeah? Okay, go on and get it. Go on then. Another good sausage. These are another favourite of mine. Chocolate and amaretto cake. So yummy. It's just so like um homemade and wholesome here, isn't it? Yeah. Love it. Oh, Bluebell and Nile having a moment. Oh, she's so pretty. I know. You Look spent at a couple you. of days away from her. She's a swing. And you too, but she you are surprises me again with her beauty. She is so beautiful. Her basil. Yeah, and a dog walk Checking with the food. doggies. Oh, look! She's in a roly poly. Oh, she's so yeah, happy yeah. she's getting loads yeah. of attention. Get walkies with her mummy and daddy on the weekend. Please welcome here. Uh, oh! Out on the field in the middle of the day. That doesn't usually happen, does it, doggies? We usually take them out in the evening. Oh, look, look at them. Since Bluebell's been done, she's just turned into a fluffy monster, hasn't she? <laughs> oh, look at Go on, Blue. Oh, Stop oh, showing oh. off. Why did it have to go away? I long for that feeling. Remember everything you say. Can you go there so that he doesn't feel like I'm filming him? Fine. 
We were on route. Right. Is that what you said? Well, I didn't say vibe, I said right. On route to um the Disney event. I've got a sneaky top on today and I can't say why. I know. Uh, <coughs> let me see. Oh yeah. But it boobs you out. know why, it don't you? Out. My boob's not out. How's my boob out? Oh, oh, I, oh yes. I know why. <laughs> I can't tell you, but there's a sneaky little top going on right now. I think it looks nice, though. It looks nice. Do you like it? I feel like, oh yeah, and also you can see my tan now. So you can actually properly see how nice the colour comes out of our Bondi tan. But yeah. It's called Bondi Sands. It's called Bondi Tan. Well, stop being a little know it all. Made it. Oh, oh, it's going all, ooh, it's giving me like movie vibes. I don't know what's, ooh. What? Oh, there's, there's a bit of water in my camera. I can't zoom anymore. <laughs> Can you see that? That is so weird. It's gone in, but then when I'm fully out, it's fine. Look, look, it looked like a movie lens. You literally just got water in the camera. Oh no, we made it though, guys. Going in. Disney. How cool. It's the soul. Playing some piano. We're going into Luca World. So, how pretty is that with the sun? So, this is Luca's little section. Oh, look at that! It's a little <laughs> swingy chair. Cute. Go on, then, get in it. Everyone's downstairs in the soul section, aren't they? <laughs> Cute. Look over here now, there's a little um, Vespa. Cute. It's such a nice evening as well. Get all there then, huh? Go on, say your little saying. Hey, babe. <laughs> Why did you get quiet? Oh, someone was coming. Someone's looking at me. <laughs> so we've arrived and I've discovered that I have water in my camera because my water leaked in my bag. I went for a little swim. Cool. It only happens when it zooms though, so. Yeah, my camera's been for a swim, but I think we are going to go down to the Soul Lounge and listen to a jazz. Oh, there's stuff. some ice cream there. Very That's Luca. That's the ice cream van from Luca, from the film Luca. Well, I don't know if it's the exact one, but... Well, obviously not, <laughs> is it? It's a cartoon. I thought that was what you were saying. It's supposed to be. inspired food. This is a Cambodian curry apparently. I hope you can hear me. I'm trying to shout. Oh, we're currently sat on. Oh, it's all. Oh my god, look at the water. It's making it all weird. Now look. It looks like. Um... <laughs> look at it. <laughs> Sorry guys, I will sort it out. Oh no, it does look like you're on drugs. So basically, it's a Cambodian curry. I think it's like a steamed bun, but it's inspired by Raya and the Last these Dragon. Are Thai basil leaves. They're are they? So nice. Are they? Don't see your mind then. Maybe it's just You look so funny. Some of you is like doubled. Also, we are gonna go soon because we want to be of the doggies. But I just looked on our dog camera. I don't know if they'll still be doing it. Yeah, they are. Oh, they're both sat next to the door. Look at them cuddle together. Hello, everybody. We are home, and I just—I've actually just been trying to blow dry my camera to get rid of. Oh, actually, it's doing all right. Do you know what? I think it might have worked. Oh wait. Oh no, look. <laughs> it's literally like that effect they give in films when someone's drunk or on drugs. It looks really like psychedelic. Basically, we have some water within the lens and I'm not sure what to do about it. Um, tried blow drying it and it doesn't seem to have done much, does it? But anyway, we're home. I'm gonna do this very bougie Charlotte Tilbury mask, which apparently is quite a new one and you put it in the freezer. So I've put it in the freezer before we went out. Well, actually, that's a lie. It's been in the freezer for about two weeks since I got it. <laughs> I just haven't used it yet. 
but it's this very bougie oh god look at that it looks really almost freaky because of the camera making it like double vision um it's this frozen thing and it's got these little metal beads in it that you're supposed to like massage into your pressure points oh wait the back door's open let's shut that it's supposed to be a really amazing face mask i'm not exactly sure how or why but it's got this technology in it these little beads if it'll focus my camera probably won't focus because of what it's going through right now there you go you can kind of see and it's got those beads there yeah it's supposed to be really good so i'm gonna put this on i think now wants to give it a try as well but we're home the disney event oh hello oh oh we're gone there we are the disney event was lovely but we're both quite sleepy aren't we now i've still got my snazzy top on which i can't tell you about <laughs> Definitely, probably shouldn't even be showing you it whatsoever, but I like being a little <laughs> bit shady. No, I don't like being shady at all. I don't like shady people. Um, so I think what we do is we Velcro it around our head. Oh, what's that little extra bit down there for? Oh, that must be for the neck. <laughs> Please help us look at me freaked out. So we pop this, I think, around the neck. Is it? I don't know. This bit was, oh, I feel like I'm being strangled. Where does this bit go? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that looks... It's very freaky, doesn't it? And apparently we, oh yeah. You massage put that, you massage that bead into the press. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> this just looks so weird to I'm watch. so jealous right now. <laughs> I know. I was saying, it's like, it, it was like double vision on my hand. Look, you can see the two of my hands. It's like, the effect they use in films when someone's drunk or on drugs. It's not even cold Ooh. anymore. It is a bit cold, it's not supposed to be too cold. So put this bit on. It's just like putting plastic on your face. And then go like this. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. <laughs> what do you mean ow? <laughs> oh look, she's not sure, look. Hello. Who's that? You look like the, the is it the chain masker or whatever his name is. Chainsaw. Chain school. Chain, <laughs> chain school. It's supposed to be like a, I can't remember what it's called. Is it cryo treatment or something? Cryotherapy. Yeah, cryotherapy. That's the nugget. That's what I read, yeah. But it needs to be ice for that. It's like having an ice bath. Yeah, it cooled down a lot quicker than I thought it would, to be fair. Heated up, you mean? Heated up, I mean. Um, anyway, yeah. Basically, we're just going to sit here and I'm probably going to cool that even more. Do you know what I really feel like watching? Mamma Mia 2. Um, I've got that song in my head. You can steal my so love. my laptop. You just take my laptop. You're my one and only. <laughs> I was going to watch some YouTube. It looks so weird. Niall's got eyelashes we all pray for and don't get. I feel like guys always have better eyelashes than girls. Who agrees? You said I got pretty eyes. Anyway, I think we're just going to chill out and possibly put on Mamma Mia too because it gets me in the Greek island zone ready for our wedding. Our wedding's in 10 months. Do you know what? I feel like that went so quick. It felt like over a year and now it's it's getting less and less. Then. Basically, you could have a baby from now up till our wedding. Crazy, isn't it? Oh, it's a bit of odd. Okay. Oh, not all the way down. Okay. Good afternoon, everybody. I... Oh, have I got parsley in my teeth? I really hope I don't have parsley in my teeth. I am currently on my way to pick up some of my bridesmaids. Oh, those people definitely saw me talking to myself driving out of my drive. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'm on my way to pick up some of my bridesmaids. Today, they are trying on the worried that the, that with the windows open. Did you hear that squeak? We're worried that the windows open that you won't be able to hear me, so I'm gonna have to just get hot in here because <laughs> we don't have air at the Beatles. Trying on, bright. well, I'm not. But they're trying on some bridesmaids dresses today at mine. So unbelievably excited. We have been trying to get a day together where everyone was free for so long. Unfortunately, Bright isn't going to be here today. She's my maid of honour, but she's actually wearing a different dress from them, which I think she has found, well, we have found together. I'm hoping to get her on FaceTime and see if she'll put on her dress just so it feels like she's here with us. I actually found some dresses on Club L London that everyone really liked. And actually, my dress I wore to my dad's wedding was also from there, and it's insane. Well, it was insane on the day I wore it. So hopefully, 
all the girls will love what they wear but I want to make sure that they all love what they're wearing I can't be one of those brides that just you know makes them wear something that I think looks nice and they don't think looks nice I want everyone to feel amazing on the day <laughs> so yeah we're gonna go pick them up we're gonna try on together I have already asked them if they mind if I film some bits and they all said that is absolutely fine so yeah da -da, da -da. <laughs> Da -da 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 -da. Oh my god, you look so good! Oh my god, do you like them? You I look, Annie, you look insane. I don't look, feel like me. Do you not? No, but I do not like them. I've like, never worn anything they like them. They look amazing. Do you like them or no? I, I, I like yeah. it. Yeah. Strap's really long. Is it really long? Do you like the colour? Yeah, I love the colour. The colour's really nice on, actually. I like, adore the colour. Very Grease vibes. Oh my god, I love it. It is very Grease vibes. Isn't it? Yeah. Oh my god, Jasmine, your bum's massive. <laughs> 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 if it's not the dress, it's fine. And you will be that tanned as well. You can see. Yeah, I'll be oh, so no, tanned. Look how you look so tanned in the camera. <laughs> <laughs> they, they are insane, but if they're not the one, it's fine. I feel like we need to try the rest. Okay, let's try another one. This brand is amazing for like snazzy dresses, but they've recently got their bridesmaids range and um, they're so nice because they're not like, they're not like, I always imagine bridesmaids dresses as being like really ugly. <laughs> I feel like it was traditional back a few years ago where you just kind of get, I don't know, bridesmaid dresses can be a little bit formal, whereas I wanted the girls to feel like really nice and I did, I feel like it's a bit of a, a thing for bridesmaids to hate their dress and I just don't want the girls to like feel like that. What do you yeah. think, Ken? Do I get to try one or? Do I try one? Do you know what, there's actually a dress in here that might be my evening wedding dress. You can't see that. No, it might not be. I don't know. I'm either going to have it for like the party part of the wedding. I haven't told the girls this yet. But there was a dress on Club L London, which I was like, that's so nice for like a party. Well, I think it is. I don't know if I want to have a, like a dress change. But then I saw this dress and I was like, oh, that might be really cool for like 10 p.m. onwards. Because I want to wear my wedding dress as long as I can because I'm obsessed with it. But this one on Club L London, I'll either wear from like 10 p.m. onwards on the wedding if it looks nice, or at the hen party. Because I feel like you just gotta wear white all the time, haven't you? <laughs> oh my God, that looks so nice. Do you like it? I do, I think I prefer this one. Do you? Maybe in the size up, because it's quite tight. But... Do you know what, I think I prefer that one too. Do you, mm. personally? I feel like it looks more bridesmaidy. I think I agree. Do you? Jasmine yeah. prefers the other one. No, I think. What do you think, Annie? <gasps> you look so nice. I prefer this one. Do you? Yeah. I, I think I prefer that one too. <gasps> oh my god, do you all look so good. <laughs> Let's see the back. Really pretty back. Yeah, oh my god, like yeah, that. the back is like, so nice. <laughs> no, I feel like that one does look more bridesmaidy. I think so too. Do you feel like you can dance? Yeah, like no. Try and dance. <laughs> Yeah, he's on. <laughs> She's talking. Oh, Twilling! You look so nice! I think seeing all three of, like, two of them there as well. Is it, it's making me a bit emotional. Because <laughs> you look like bridesmaids. Like, properly like bridesmaids. I feel like a bridesmaid. You need to practice you this down the aisle. There, I'm like, no, Does they look like bridesmaids? Like, how are you going to have a hat? I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> how are we going to have a hat? <laughs> Can you imagine walking to this? <laughs> I like these ones. Yeah, I like I these ones. We're not doing the steps together. 
That one looks really nice on you. Do you like it? I think I prefer this style for me. Do you? Because the other one is so long for me. That yeah, why is it so I'm long? I'm gonna trip over on my face. You look really nice in that. At least had a prosecco. Really <laughs> I like pink. Oh it does actually look really nice. I know. I like both. So. Oh, you are so cute. Oh. Hello everybody, I am currently just editing, ed ed <laughs> I'm just currently editing up the vlog right now and there isn't an ending so here I am ending the video but um, I really hope you enjoyed this vlog. Do you know what, I feel like this is, I love this vlog, I don't know what it is about this vlog but I've I actually have loved editing it. I mean the bridesmaid stuff was so, so much fun to do and I, I feel like we caught so many nice just moments in the vlog which I'm really really so pleased that we filmed parts of it um, and I think we have found the dresses I'm not gonna say which ones but yeah I'm really really excited and I feel like the girls really did love them which is the main thing I was wanting to make sure of that they weren't just saying they loved them I wanted them to love them and feel really good in them they all kind of be wearing diff slightly different things depending on like what they like best but yeah, we'll have to wait to see which ones on the day. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this vlog. Thank you so much if you came to watch and watch all the way through it. And I will hope you see you in another video very soon. There is another, actually I was just editing the other vlog which will be up on Thursday as well. So I hope you see you in that vlog. I hope you're all okay, sending you all my love. And thank you so much for being here again to watch.